Okay, 14 mental traps that insensibly control our lives. You know, it's easy to fall victim to different cliches and stereotypes pounded into our head by society. Our minds constantly play games with us, setting traps and imaginary obstacles. So, let's count it down. Number 14. In a truly fair society, the same standards would apply to everyone. Yet, we still hold different standards for different people. We often excuse some people's behavior but not others by arguing that they have certain life troubles and issues. But when we justify our own poor choices, we blame circumstances that don't depend on us. Such mistakes cause us to think that we all lead the same life. And that's why it's easy to judge the people around us. But that's not true at all. If you're tired of the unfairness of double standards, don't be the one who puts them out there. Starting with yourself is always the best option. Number 13. Arguing just for the sake of winning. Scientists Hugo Mercier and Dan Sperber proposed a theory that people have learned how to argue just for the opportunity to influence each other. And that's fine. It's a beautiful thing when people are passionate enough to stand up for what they believe in and try to convince others of the same. But a lot of people refuse to just drop it even when they've run out of arguments to support themselves. In ancient times, losing a debate was a risk to your life. And it seems like even today, we're still stuck in this mentality. We'll just keep bickering until the cows come home. There's nothing wrong with a respectable exchange of ideas. That's what makes a truly great debate. But we should also know when to just agree to disagree and not get so caught up in the winning. Number 12. Comparing apples to oranges. We often compare things that are totally incomparable, which causes us to make incorrect decisions and conclusions at the end. For example, there's a belief out there that the bigger a dog is, the more aggressive or dangerous it must be. But step back and look at that with some reasonable thinking. A dog's size doesn't affect its character or behavior. And most importantly, we always compare ourselves to others. And we usually don't come out on top. Remember, everything and everyone is beautiful in its own way. Don't try to copy someone's uniqueness. Let your own personality shine. Number 11. Trusting only your people. Since ancient times, we wittingly or unwittingly divide people into groups. Us versus them. And we trust the people in our group more family, friends, colleagues, and loved ones. And anybody outside this inner circle is looked at with doubt, caution, and suspicion. This phenomenon is known as in-group favoritism. And what's tricky about it is that people overestimate their group's values, skills, and abilities. And they underestimate those they don't know well at all. It doesn't mean you should just naively trust any random stranger that comes your way. Just be a little more open to new people, opinions, and ideas. It can sometimes help you out a lot. Number 10. Overgeneralization If something unpleasant has ever happened to you in the past, it seems to leave a bad taste in your mouth forever. For example, if a cashier once ripped you off, you'll most likely subconsciously think that every other cashier will try to do the same. Again, totally understood. It's how we learn from our mistakes and gain life experience. But overgeneralizing every single situation and person just based on one bad experience is a mental trap that will get you nowhere in life. Situations and people are different. So don't look at everything with so much suspicion and distrust if it's not absolutely necessary. This mental roadblock will only stop you from trying new things and gaining even more life experience. Number 9. Blindly jumping on the bandwagon Human beings are social creatures by nature, and just like other animals that live in groups, we interact and depend on each other. That's why people are inclined to do or believe something if they know that the majority does or believes this too. And that's great. 
That's how we've come to establish certain rules and acceptable conduct in society. But this kind of mob mentality is exactly why you should take statistical data with a grain of salt. When it comes to developing your own opinion and making your own decisions, you should avoid just blindly following the herd. Number 8. We remember only our best traits and actions. Uh-huh. For better or worse, people are people, and we're all a bit egotistic. We like to acknowledge only our best features. Heck, <laughs> we sometimes have a tendency to exaggerate our accomplishments without even realizing it. Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman hit the nail on the head when he said, It's surprising how rarely people change their opinions, and when they do, many people correct their previous mindset, trying to persuade themselves that they've always thought that way. How many politicians flip-flop on their policy and completely deny ever having been against what they now support? It's good to criticize yourself. It allows you to grow and be a better person. Number 7. Our brain thinks we're someone else in the future. Different studies show that when we start imagining ourselves in the future, it activates the parts of our brain that work when we think about different people. In other words, if we're asked to think about our future selves, we imagine a stranger who has almost nothing in common with our present self. And of course, this stranger is better in every way possible. But we forget one important thing. Becoming this perfect stranger doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of work. So, if you catch yourself imagining how amazing you'll be in the future, try to figure out how your future self is different from your current personality and skills, and start working on those specifics. By the way, if you're into psychology, check out our other video right here. It'll give you a list of useful tips that'll definitely change your life for the better. Number 6. The Peltzman Effect The gist of this phenomenon is that an abundance of different protective devices and safety equipment lead a person to think they're invincible, so the risk of an accident increases. For example, if we take away a motorcyclist's helmet or protective pads, they won't ride as recklessly as they feel comfortable doing when they're fully equipped. And that's both good and bad for obvious reasons. The lesson here is not to go overboard, even if it seems like nothing can touch you. Your safety is always a priority. Number 5. Positive Expectations No, this doesn't mean you should be a grumpy pessimist all day every day. Having positive expectations is a trap common among addicted gamblers. They're sure that after a series of losses, their good luck will appear and the next game will definitely bring a jackpot. But next thing they know, they're selling all their possessions just to finance their addiction. The same goes for misconceptions about lucky streaks. Unfortunately, the odds are simply unpredictable. You can lose over and over again or win spectacularly on your first try. And this isn't just about gambling. Play the hand you're dealt in life. And if you want something good to happen, work toward it. Number 4. Catchy Jingles and Rhymes This is something that companies use to fool you. When people hear catchy jingles or see rhyming slogans, they subconsciously treat them as more trustworthy. These phrases stick with us because they're easy to remember. So when we go shopping, which items do we grab? The ones that give us an earworm, of course. And a lot of people don't even bother checking ratings or reviews to see if it's a good quality product or not. Nah, why do that if it's got such a great commercial? It's a really effective advertising trick, so take note. Number 3. There's always more bad news. Look at the front page of any newspaper, or just turn on the news. How many of the stories are bad or tragic? It's no secret, people are pessimists at heart. But scientists propose another theory. They say that we subconsciously treat bad news as more important. When something good happens, it gives us less food for thought, yet bad news leaves a lot of room for contemplation. We also trust bad news more. 
How many times have you said, eh, sounds too good to be true? Well, there you go. That's a mental trap. Number 2. The IKEA Effect This phenomenon basically states that we often appreciate an item's value more if it's connected to us, our relatives, or our friends in some way. For example, seemingly ordinary gloves knitted by your dear little granny bring a smile to your face, but you wouldn't even notice a similar pair at the store. Simple gifts are way more important to us because they're from people we love and care about. This mind trick is kind of sweet. Don't give this one up. <laughs> And number 1. The superiority over others trap During one experiment, a group of drivers were asked to compare their driving skills to others, and almost all of the participants considered their skills above average. This means that in most cases, people have a high opinion of their own skills. They overestimate their abilities, which is why they can't rate themselves objectively. And this mind game can play serious tricks on us, making us commit to things we won't be able to do or finish. Know your limits and recognize your weaknesses so you won't regret your decisions later. Don't get in over your head. Do you recognize when your mind is tricking you? How do you cope with this? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a like and share this video with all your friends so they'll know about these traps too. Click the subscribe button and join us on the Bright Side!